All right, moving on. A man that made history, Mr. Paul Hom. Paul Hom. Hom was the first U.S. man to win the world and Olympic gold all-around titles. A two-time Olympian, Hom won the Olympic all-around gold medal at the 2004 Olympic Games and aided the U.S. men in earning the team silver medal, the U.S. men's first Olympic team medal since 1984. In 2003, Hom won the world all-around title, a first for the U.S. men and the floor exercise gold. Other world medals include the 2001 Team Silver and the 2002 Floor Exercise Bronze. Hom accumulated three U.S. all-around titles and U.S. crowns, each for floor exercise, pummel horse, and horizontal bar. He was a member of the 2000 U.S. Olympic team where he and his brother Morgan made history as the first twins to compete on the same Olympic gymnastics team. Hom was a member of the Swiss Turner's Gymnastics Academy and graduated from Ohio State University in 2007. Currently, Hom resides in Glen Ellen, Illinois and is a coach at Premier Gymnastics. Ladies and gentlemen, Paul Hom. Thank you. I get goosebumps watching those videos, you know, seeing the old stuff. And especially winning that gold medal in the 2004 Olympics, that moment was unbelievable. Um, the greatest gift that parents can give to their children is to believe in them. And my parents believed in me since the very beginning. The, the day that I walked into the gym as a seven-year-old, I was passed on to a coach that many of you may know. His name was Stacy Maloney. At the time, Stacy coached sporadically. He had long permed hair. He rode a motorcycle. He had these purple holy jeans. Um, and it was apparent that he was most interested in his music career. Well, I spent a month working with Stacy before my parents moved the family to the YMCA gymnastics program. During the time that we were at the YMCA, we watched the movie American Anthem. Yep. <laughs> and my mom noticed that one of the actors in the movie was that guy that used to coach me. So we all freaked out. You know, nowadays it seems silly, but back then it was so cool. And, you know, Stacy was just such an amazing coach, and he brought us up to that level that no other coach had done to that point in time. Um, I had such amazing parents, and my father, after, after he found out Stacy was in that movie, he went to my Stacy's rock concerts. He walked up to the stage and he asked Stacy, Will you coach my boys? And Stacy says, No. <laughs> so my dad was very persistent and relentless, and he convinced Stacy to coach us doing private lessons at the YMCA. So I want to thank my parents for going above and beyond for me. It, they did so much, it was incredible. So thank you, Mom and Dad. I love you guys. I also want to thank my coaches, Stacy Maloney, Miles Avery, Andre Kahn, and Konstantin Kolesnikov. You might notice from the last two names there that I had some Russian influence with my coaches. And I grew up idolizing the Soviet men's gymnastics team. And even when I was young, I understood that these people felt like gymnastics was everything. And they, I also understood that in order to be the best and compete on the world stage, that I had to go up against people that felt like they had no choice. They must win. And I remember being at national team training camps as a teenager, and I specifically remember Ron Brandt talking to us about the U.S. men's team getting to the top of the world and how he thought that it was going to be, quote, unbelievable. Ron didn't just make us feel like it was something that could happen. He made us feel like we were destined to get to the top. So I would also say that one of the greatest gifts that a coach or administrator can give to their athlete is to believe in them. And I want to thank USA Gymnastics for having such a strong national team program and tremendous coaching staff. You all believed in us, and you planted the idea in our minds that we could be the best. 
In 2004, the U.S. men's team won the first Olympic team medal since the 1984 Olympics. And in the past 15 years, the U.S. men's team has been consistently winning medals at the World and Olympic Games. This is a moment that I am extremely proud to be a part of. And I, along with many other people, are waiting for that moment when the U.S. men's team wins team gold. Because that moment is going to be unbelievable. So thank you to all the people that supported me and believed in me. I couldn't have done it without you. Thank you. All right. American Anthem. I feel kind of like an obligated to just mention Jim Cotta since Kurt Thomas is here. Here for you, boy. I think Bart's here too, maybe, but Rad, that was a big one. Whew, Rad was good. The Jim Cotta with the high bar and the, yeah, okay. 